I wouldn't expect anything less than a fair and balanced coverage no, of my campaign. No. Did you catch that? Hillary Clinton talking with Bill O'Reilly. Millions of Americans did. What is going on here, Jane Hall? Hillary had not appeared with O'Reilly. He'd been after her for years. Mm -hmm. Barack Obama all of a sudden on Fox News Sunday. What's going on? Well, I think that, uh, you know, the Democrats have said they had a 50-state strategy and they were not appearing on a network that's the highest rated and has a lot of voters who are independent, who are people that they need to reach. And I think Hillary Clinton decided that it was worth going on. I mean, the irony is, I think, you know, I was talking to people who are her supporters. She probably did herself a tremendous amount of good in terms of coming off as competent. She got to answer Reverend Wright without bringing up Reverend Wright. O'Reilly treated her with, with real respect and she did very well. The, the reason for that, this was the political equivalent of sexual tension. Everybody wanted to see this to find out what was going to happen. But uh, look, uh, the, clearly the boycott of Fox News is over from the Democratic Party. This diminishes MoveOn.org and the Daily Coast and some of these other far left uh, uh, groups who for a while, I and mean, Howard Dean is going to be the final one as he appears with uh, Chris Wallace on Fox News Sunday. Uh, so the, the, the boycott is over, just like the boycott of Disney by the right wing groups and others. Boycotts are only good if they work. This has not worked. Well, Patricia, you know, some of the some of the um, blogs, Daily Coast, uh, MoveOn.org and so forth, they have been really steamed that mm -hmm. those candidates appeared on Fox News. Is this in any way going to hurt them with core constituencies? Well, I think that it will hurt Hillary Clinton, but she's had a long time fissure with this group for for quite a while. So I think that she already had lost that group of voters. But is that counterbalanced by people she might have picked up, uh, you know, who, who like O'Reilly? Oh, absolutely. I mean, 3.6 million viewers saw that and it has been distributed ironically on the Internet time and time again. And for her to be challenging Barack Obama, debate me now, debate me anywhere, anytime. And then if she hadn't gone on O'Reilly, you can't run from one debate and chase another. So I think that she is uh, I think she did herself a lot of favors. I think the, look, the Democrats and their part of hearts would love to run in the MSNBC primary. <clears throat> and Keith Olbermann and Dan Abrams would decide who the nominee is. Unfortunately for Hillary, she lost that primary to Obama. Bill O'Reilly is quite right when he says that NBC is the Obama headquarters. Well, looking at Andrea Mitchell's face when they had to report the O'Reilly interview with uh, Hillary uh, middle of last week, you can see she's spitting out the words, Fox, because she's so mad. <laughs> but, na but the point is, as Patricia said, there's lots of people watching Fox. It, they're independents and, and, and they're patriots and gun owners and, they're, and they happen to be Democrats and the, Hillary is so desperate to win she's even willing to do this and that says something about how strong a candidate she'll be in the general if she gets through this nomination process because if she'll go on Fox once she'll go on Fox twice and then she really might be a threat it was a little silly wasn't it I mean these two people Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton aspire to the toughest job in the world and yet they don't want to talk to journalists well I think it was Jay Leno yeah. who said you know if they how can they fight al-qaeda if they're or maybe it was Roger Ailes or maybe it was Roger Ailes <laughs> and Jay Leno I think that's true how can he how can he go against al-qaeda if he's afraid of Brit Hume I mean that is a legitimate question I felt this, I mean, I hate to keep saying this, I felt this for a long time. It didn't seem to be my place to tell the Democrats this. But if you live in the Fox universe, you know how popular it is. You know that they're, they're going to reach viewers they wouldn't reach. It seems mystifying, except I know people on the left who say they've dissed us. They've gone after him, mm -hmm. Obama, hard on Reverend Wright. He shouldn't go on. Yeah. All right. Well, was he fair? Was Bill O'Reilly fair to Hillary Clinton, for instance? I think he was fair. I think if there are any instances where he said something like, here's why you're wrong. She had a chance to come right back at him and they had a really lively debate. I think it was great for both of them. I'll say I had worked on Capitol Hill for Democrats. There's a great temptation not to be challenged, but yeah. she is so good on her feet. This is such a great venue yeah. for her that, that it was good for that's her. That's exactly right. And compare that, for example, with uh, Suzanne Malveau of NBC's interview with Michelle Obama with Caroline Kennedy sitting next to her and asking penetrating and, and hard charging questions like, well, how did that make you feel? I mean, this was a Dr. Phil moment. This wasn't real journalism. And that's the point. It's a combat on television that makes it most compelling. Richard Nixon went to all his enemies in 1968, went before them, and got elected. Mm. That tells you something. All right. Time for another break. As coverage of the candidates continues.